sometimes I tell you pray with your body. Why? Because when you're praying, you're praying energetically. What's happening is you're not giving yourself any time to be distracted. That's really what it is. The same way as you were grown up, they would tell you what to close your eyes when you pray. Is it a must that you close your eyes when you pray? No, but they're saying uh, you're, you're liable or it's a possibility for you to be distracted in the place of prayer. So it's best that you close your eyes. The same, that's the same reason why I say sometimes pray a little harder. Pray louder because you're just, if you're just like this, your mind is going to be all over the place. You follow me? You're just praying softly. You, you know, your mind is going to be going from here to there to there. You won't even really be able to connect to what God is doing. You won't be able to pray passionately and with zeal. The Bible says it is the, uh, the fervent prayer of the righteous. That avail of the effectual fervent. Your prayer has to be fervent. It has to be fervent. This is why we pray. We pray. It seems as though, you see, look at this guy. What is he trying to do? Why is he doing all this movement? It doesn't take all that. Just kneel down somewhere. Pray. No. Maybe for you it's good to kneel down, but when I kneel down for too long, my knees start to hurt. So I prefer to pray standing up. And when I'm praying, I'll move my body. Because I'm telling God that it's not just my mouth and my words that belong to you. It's all of me. Every atom in my body. From the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. And so sometimes in the place of prayer, he'll have you do certain prophetic acts. Do certain prophetic movements. Move around in a certain way. And in doing that, that's the voice of God. That can be a prophetic decree that breaks you out of whatever you're going through. If you pray too stiff, you won't be able to, to follow the promptings of the Holy Spirit. What is the Holy Spirit doing on the inside of you? How is he praying? It's not about you anymore. It's not about what you're comfortable doing. Some of you, your prayers, you're praying too comfortable. I know, oh, I'm just comfortable. I don't like to raise my voice. That's the reason why you are where you are. You've been praying too comfortably. You say, I don't like to move around too much. I, don't, I like to stay where I am. No, it's not not about you it's about the spirit it's about the holy ghost it's about what he wills and what he's doing and so you must yield yourself to him in the place of prayer that is growing in intimacy with god that is what that is growing in intimacy in the place of prayer you begin to hear certain things. You begin to hear. You begin to hear the voice of the Lord. Sometimes as you're praying in the spirit, your spiritual eyes will be open. You begin to see visions. You begin to see words coming to you. God will begin to show you certain things that are going on. It's intimacy in the place of prayer. Sometimes in the place of prayer, it seems as though you'll enter into a place and you'll begin to feel the presence of the Lord. You'll begin to feel the anointing. Sometimes I pray, I'll feel the oil being poured upon me it's an anointing for the moment it's an anointing as as i as i always say pray pray out of the flesh you can pray to the point where it's no longer the flesh you don't care about who's around you you don't care about who's looking at you it's, it doesn't matter listen the person next to you is fighting for their life you can't fight for your life and you're conscious about who's to your left and who's to your right and how are they praying it no you have to take it seriously fight for your life in the place of prayer oh my god when you're intimate with the spirit and you begin to pray there are so many dimensions you begin to enter into you see praying in tongues uh, is not just a, a, it's not just a moving of your mouth it may seem as though your mouth is moving but it's it's your spirit that's moving you're taking a journey it says upon the mount zion shall jacob possess its possessions uh, it's upon that mount uh, so as you're praying in the spirit uh, you're journeying up the mountain of the lord uh, you're going to a place spiritually where you can possess everything that the Lord has determined is yours. It's in the place of prayer. And so as you grow in intimacy, your prayer life begins to change. Sometimes as you're growing in intimacy with God, even your prayer language will begin to change. The way you pray in tongues begin to change. It'll begin to increase
increase. It will begin to advance. You don't pray the same way. Oh my God. Sometimes when we're doing the long times and long periods of prayer, my tongues will change four to five times, sometimes six times a year. It's, it's what? It's, it's a journey because we're going from one level to the other, from one dimension to the other, from one place of grace to the other.